All right. Hello? 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 Okay. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Pikachu Choi here. Uh, thanks for coming over to watch my stream. Uh, the moment we only have... Where is it? Here we go. Pokemon card opening. Okay, sorry guys. Technical difficulties. We're doing okay. Anyway, uh, welcome. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a bunch of Pokemon card unboxings, or Pokemon unboxings in general. I bought a bunch of stuff in the past that I have not had a chance to open up yet. So we're going to be doing that first. And in addition to that, I'm going to be uh, opening up the EV Hero set, the Korean version. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, we were scheduled to do a Pokemon card unboxing of the English version of Scarlet and Violet with one of my awesomest Pika peeps, Gracelyn. Unfortunately, she is not feeling too well. So, honey, I hope you feel better. Uh, get well. And yeah, hopefully your pony will make you feel better too. Uh, say hi to your pony. Anyway, we miss you, and yeah, we're going to be doing more Pokemon card openings in the future. All right, you already know that. Anyway, we're going to get started with the unboxings. After that, we're going to be doing some EV Hero card pack openings. So yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, let me know, guys, in the chat if the volume is all right or not. That's definitely something that I need to work on. Anyway, let's, without further ado, we're going to start with some Pokemon uh, box openings, so I cannot wait to see what we got in store. I have about one, two, three, four, five. I got like six packages or something that we're opening. If you remember last time, though, I opened up one package, and I had this, like, the cutest Pokemon Pikachu, like, tea set. Pikachu plushie ever. It's so cute. You see that? You see how cute this is? And look at that. He's actually drinking green tea in his Pokey mug. Pokey cup. So awesome stuff. Uh, hope to have some other awesome stuff. I uh, ordered a bunch of stuff from PokemonCenter.com and also a bunch of items from Japan and from Korea. So yeah, let's take a look and see what we got. And kids, if you do any type of unboxings or not, make sure that you're careful. Make sure you have a mom or dad or older brother or sister help you with opening some things with these sharp objects. They can be very dangerous. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is from the Pokemon Center. Uh, I know I ordered some plushies, and I also ordered some card sleeves. So, let's see what we got first. up. Oh! <gasps> Holy cow, guys. This is really cute. You're... These are card sleeves. These are the Pikachu card sleeves that I really wanted. Oh, my God. Here we go. You ready to see them? One. And... Pikachu. I am so happy. I'm, I'm really glad I got these. Uh, lately, PokemonCenter.com has been crazy with their inventory. Like, you can't, like, get anything anymore. It's really ridiculous. And, yeah, I, I don't understand it. But I can't understand it. A lot of people are buying these and then reselling them for more insane, amount, insane amounts of money. Which I can understand. I mean, if they think of it as an investment or... A stock or something then yeah that's definitely a way to go but it doesn't mean that it's not annoying <laughs> okay so that hey guys so that is the first item that I got really cool sorry I need to message people and let them know that I'm on Give me one moment, but 
Anyway, while I'm doing that, why don't you guys tell me what are your what are some of your favorite things to look at when you go to PokemonCenter.com? Have you bought anything? And what were some of the favorite things that you got from their store? Let me know. But yeah, this is definitely something really cute. I love this. I love it. Wait, gotta let people know. We did so let some people know right now that we're live anyway these are so cute i think i'm gonna use some of these for some of my cards today aren't they freaking cute okay along with these the ones that are some of my favorite and i've shown you guys these a million times are definitely these card sleeves yeah i definitely love <laughs> the Pikachu chowing down on some Petcha berries or something like that with the Snorlax and Munchlax right there. And then the Squirtle Squad squad with the glasses and the Substitute plushie and the Pikachu. Everything about it. Really cute. I love these designs. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping a few of these because I don't want to use all of them for my collection. I'd like to keep a few. All right, that was the first thing that I had. That was really neat. Anyway, let's see what I have in my next box. Which box should I use? Oh, all right. This one comes from Korea. Holy cow! It's really well packed. Uh, you can't see it from here. Okay, let's open it this way. Remember, kids, this may be dangerous, so make sure you have a mom or dad op help you open these packages up for you to avoid any type of unnecessary injuries. Alrighty? <laughs> I did a great job. I can't even open boxes. Ugh. We'll try this again. Ooh, nice. What do we got here? I think we got some Korean Pokemon card packs or boxes of Korean Pokemon cards. And these, ooh, nice. Okay. So, looks like I got some cards from the Korean set with Rayquaza. Huge fan of Rayquaza. Love him. I think this is... Is this the Evolving Skies one? I get all these names mixed up nowadays. Because sometimes the Korean... Hangul will actually use English words. But in the Korean language. And sometimes they'll just have it literally translated. Into their own language. What the set is. But yeah. I think this is Rising Sky or Evolving Skies. Or something like that. Really neat set. But yeah, once my collection's complete, then anything else is fair game on my eBay store. So, nice. That's really cool. I just like the coloring too, though. So, anyway, next up. So. All right. This package comes from Nishiwasila in Japan. It's probably a plushie. It's really lightweight. So, looking forward to seeing what's in here. All right. 
Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? I think it's a plushie, though, for sure. Or not. Oh, it's a plushie. It's a plushie. Holy cow. Okay. It's coming out. It's coming out, guys. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, kimono Pikachu! Oh my god, this is so cute. You guys see that? Look at the coloring. The fabric is so nice. Ah, I'm not going to drop it, don't worry. This is so cute. You can see it shines really nicely along the light. That's really cool. I definitely like the Japanese plushies a little bit more. I feel like they give you a little bit more than the American versions, but... I... Who am I to say? I probably don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Voided! Hey, what's up? Yeah, and one, of course, is not enough for me, so... I had two of them. Well, these two will go really well with the uh, Pikachu, Green Tea Pikachu. I call him Prince Pikachu that I got in my last opening. This is what it, this one looks like. I freaking love Pikachus, if you didn't know that. <laughs> uh, how's the volume, by the way? Let me know. Do you collect anything Pokemon-wise? Pokemon cards? Pokemon toys? Collections of any sort? Holy cow, this has got to be like one of the coolest things ever. I can't stop looking at <laughs> They're so cool. I just like the designs and stuff. Kawaii! Okay. I'm not done yet. I still have a lot more. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? I think it's probably some Korean or Japanese Pokemon cards. I was investing a little bit in them. Oh, these look like they're Japanese cards. Holy cow, what did I get? Ooh, sweet! I get all right looks like guys oh yeah I mean I don't do this that often I was doing this with one of my customers uh, their daughter loves Pokemon cards and so we were gonna do a Pokemon card opening today uh, unfortunately she got sick I feel really bad for that but unfortunately I scheduled this so I just kind of have to do what I have for the schedule. I am going to be opening this uh, Evolving Skies edition. Wait, not Evolving Skies. Eevee Heroes edition, the Korean edition. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that after I'm done with my unboxing. So yeah, I didn't know this was such a thing. and I just started getting into it, but it's kind of, I don't, I want to say tedious, but it's just weird. To just open a bunch of packs all at once. I'm not really used to that. I used to just like open one or two packs at a time. And it made it seem more like a surprise. And you appreciate what you get more. Uh, she's really cute. You should watch one of my other lives with her. She Her favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. She loves Bulbasaur. Uh... Yeah, she's going to be an awesome Pokey fan when she's older. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, these are the Japanese booster back boxes that I got. So, got some from Pokemon Go. And as you guys remember, I believe I opened a bunch of them either the last time or the time before that in, my, in our live. So, yeah, got Pokemon Go. Oh, right over there. Ooh, this one looks really cool, too. With some of the Alolan Pokemon. Alolan Vulpix, Reshiram. Is that Superior there, too? Nice. 
But yeah, I'm not going to open these today. I might open them some other time, but yeah, that's going to be cool. I got a bunch of Pokemon card boxes now. And once I complete what I want or get the cards that I want, then everything else, fair game on eBay, Jimmy Pikachu Choi. You guys know that already. All right. Next spot. Ooh, something from DHL. This is like Christmas, which is what I like about it. <laughs> I got enough. Whoa, this one is really cool. What type of... This is like a different, like, kimono Pikachu. I always like these different designs. And he's like... He or she. She. She is holding... It looks like an... Um, it might be an umbrella or something. Or a shield. You guys be the judge. Here's the picture that it came with. On the tag. I really think that's cool. I don't know if I have a great heart or not, Voided, but I try my best to be what what I think is the best version of me. I can be a bitchy person, too, sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyway, also, we need to probably talk about, like, what we're going to do for your Melee tournament, if we have one. Because when the week after Combo Breaker, we're going to have, like, a the full venue... That's mostly dedicated for Street Fighter 6, but that's not to say that you guys couldn't get like four or maybe five setups on the other half of the of the venue, so we should probably talk about that too. But yeah, let me know what your plans are, what you think you're going to be doing for your tournament, but I think it'll be a lot of fun for sure. Oh, another one. There are so many boxes here, guys. I'm overwhelmed. I can't believe I bought so many and never actually opened them. But I do have a mental disorder. It's called hoarding. So. All right. Let's see what, what we got next, guys. <gasps> Word. Oh, um, boxes of Silver Tempest edition, American packs. American packs are so expensive. I hate it. It's so obnoxious, but occasionally I buy these. These are an investment. I don't collect these normally, so these are something that I'm probably going to be selling on my e uh, eBay store, probably four or five bucks a pack, uh, unless... It's worth more, but at the moment, probably that much. But, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff on eBay to get rid of. So, we'll see what happens with that. Alright, we're doing pretty good on time right now. Hey, let me know, what's your... Yeah, that's totally cool. I mean, I think if we can get a max only up to, like, 16 people at the most for Melee, I think that would be fine. I just don't want to get a little overwhelmed with our numbers. Holy cow. I don't... Were you there last time? We had, like, 28 people show up in our for our event. There were 17 people for Tekken. It was crazy. It was It was so crazy. It was fun, though, but it was crazy. <laughs> okay, I need to let other people know that I am on. Okay, and how do you tag? Ooh, there we go. Let's start tagging people. Don't want to overwhelm everyone here. And uh, crystal. It's 
Sorry. I'm almost done inviting people or tagging people. They're going to be so annoyed with me. <laughs> Yeah, but for sure, uh, if we have melee people, I'm just going to have the bracket and probably going to make you a co, a, what do you call it, co-TO or co-organizer or whatever on Star GG. So you can just uh, get your bracket coordinated and run and set all that stuff. Crystal... All right, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, back to Pokemon. I think I'm going to do one more box, and that'll be it. We have way too many items here that I've opened up, and that's going to leave very little room for me to actually open up my box of cards. So, one last one. Ugh. All right, one last one, guys. I'm going to be opening up. Anyway guys, for those of you that are new here, welcome to my channel, uh, Jimmy Pikachu Choi, Soul Calibur player, also sometimes a Tekken player as well. Uh, yeah, my YouTube channel is primarily an archive for our Madison fighting game community, Walk Gaming, and it's just to kind of show our adventures and what we've been able to do throughout the years. So yeah. If you're new here, please like the video, and if you can, sub to, your ch to my channel. That'll help our FTC out immensely. We're trying to get 1,000 subs so we can use the ad revenue to help purchase equipment for our group. And with the way things are going with the prices with video games, consoles, games, and all that, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> and subscribing is free, so please do that. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Uh, Isaac gave me the cutest thing ever. One, he wanted to propose to me, but he didn't actually propose because that day I just got back home from work and then I took my pants off already, so I was in my underwear. But he was feeling very, very romantic, and so he purchased the cutest thing for me ever. Anyway. He bought me two male groom Pikachus. Now you're saying two male grooms? That's not something Japanese would usually support, right? And you're correct. It's actually a male and a female. But what he did was he bought uh, two sets of them. And so we have the lesbian pair of Pikachu and then we have us pair of Pikachus. That is so cute. And so, yeah, he's a romantic at heart. But I have something just like that. Two male Pikachu as groomsmen. I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're in like their wedding gear. That looks freaking amazing. Holy cow. Yeah, but I don't know. If when we do get married, I think we I want to do something kind of romantic but at the same time I want to invite everybody which is a problem because there are a lot of people I want to invite let's just say the FGC the extended family the family members the friends yeah I think we're gonna have to limit it. <laughs> but a wedding with two or three hundred people would sound fun too right like have a video game tournament during the wedding ceremony I don't know that's what I would do but <laughs> Holy cow, these are so cute though. I'm having a Pikachu overload, guys. And to compliment the white groomsman Pikachu, I found these on Pokemon at PokemonCenter.com. Two Western groomsmen Pikachus. 
Oh my god, they're so cute! I love them! <laughs> Holy cow, the bouquets look really nice too. You can see the flowers right over there. Ah, oh, kawaii! Okay, I gotta stop being a weeb right now. Asians can be weebs also, guys. I'm a weeb. Yeah, if anything, if we can, yeah, probably max it to 16 at the most, that would be fine, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes, though. I mean, you already can tell, I'm kind of mostly focused on every fighting game minus <laughs> Smash. Smash, usually, they're very self-sufficient, so, you know, there wasn't ever a reason for me to have to help them get better or provide for them, but, yeah, let's, let's do a Smash tournament. I think that's going to be the first week of June, right? Because it'll be right after Combo Breaker, so... Yeah, I'll try and set up a date for that as well. Alright, next up. Holy cow. I got a bunch of stuff here. Let's open some Pokemon cards, guys. What do you think? All right, let me get my Gen 2 cards out of the way. I don't want to damage them. We'll do show and tell after I'm done. How about that? Holy cow. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to change the cameras up so the bigger camera is going to show the cards. Okay, got that. Good. Got this. Awesome. All right. Got to get it set up the way I like. Got all these different sleeves that I can use. And to recap, I just got the cutest set of Pokemon card sleeves from PokemonCenter.com. Only... I think it was $7.99, like 8 bucks plus tax. And if you order $20 or more of merch, then they give you free shipping. So, all right. Got a lot of card sleeves here. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to be opening up some cards. Let's see what we get. Okay, sorry, gotta let other people know that I'm on. Now, how many of you guys are Pokemon card collectors? How many of you guys, like, play the game? How many of you are just in it for the investment? I guess for me, it's kind of a mix of everything. I kind of like to invest a little bit to help further my Pokemon card collection. The same time I like to collect because, yeah, who doesn't like collecting stuff? Amazing stuff like this. Ooh, these card packs are really shiny. I like it. I don't know, can you guys see the shine here? And it's so freaking cute. Who doesn't like the Eeveelution set? Are they ever gonna do a new Eevee, Eevee evolution? Evolution. It's been long overdue. I I was waiting for my dragon Pokemon Eevee. I was waiting for a Dragonion. That's what I would have named it. But yeah, if you guys missed it, uh, my partner in crime, Gracelyn, she is not feeling too well, so she's not able to participate in the Pokemon card opening today. She was gonna be opening her Pokemon Scarlet and Violet cards. So I'm really bummed about that, but yeah, I'm sure we can do or schedule something, so. Right? 
Hey, Vaseline machine, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, after after we do the Pokemon card opening, I'm definitely going to be showing some of my older vintage cards. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, bear with me, though. It takes me a long time to open these sometimes because I'm not accustomed to opening these packs. Oh, my gosh. I want to do it without potentially damaging or warping the card, you know. Ugh. How to do this. Okay. We got it. We got it. Oh, man. My arm is hairy. <laughs> Pika Pika, how's it going? If you missed it, I had some of the cutest merch that I just opened up in my unboxings. I got, like, this cute kimono Pikachu. Two different ones. I think they like represent like different types of regions of Japan. I really love those. Oh, actually, I think one might be an Easter egg theme one. Looks like there's like colorful Easter eggs. Oh, I'm getting off. Can't. I'm getting on a tangent. Sorry, guys. Okay. We're going to start with the Pokemon card opening. As long as I can stop showing my hairy arm, guys. Sorry. And... For those of you that do not know, I do have a promotion. If I can get 750 subs, I will be giving away my shiny card collection pack. And once I reach 1,000 subs, I will be giving away one pack of my Radiant card collections to a very lucky son of a gun. So... Please help subscribe to my... It's just a promo. Okay. It's nothing. There's only five cards per pack. So this one... Kind of... A junk beginning. Hopefully we have, we end strong though, guys. Is the chat working or is it disconnected? On my end it says it just disconnected, but... It's hard for me to engage in the audience while I'm doing this sometimes. Streamers are really impressive. I don't know how they do it. Well, I'm sure they're more experienced also. Ugh, is that impotent? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That substitute plushie, that is so cute. Why is that not a Pokemon yet? It needs to be a Pokemon. Okay. Oh, it's a Sandy Gast. That's the name of it, right? Is it Sandy Gast? Not Sandalot. Tynamo. Trainer card. Ooh, there we go. First neat, awesome card. Entei. And that's really cool. As you can tell, I really don't like to touch them with my fingers if possible. I don't want fingerprints on them. All right, we're going to be putting this Entei. All right, we got one. Good one. Yay. All right, next guys, next pack. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open 30 packs, though. It feels like so much. But for those of you that do, uh, that are on... I am more than willing to give a pack away for one of you guys, so stay tuned. I've just got to think of a game, and it's kind of going to be like a, think of it like a quiz show. Oh my god, how do you... <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Oh. Oh my god, I just touched it with my finger. Great. Alright. Oh, that's Meow. That's so cute. Okay, we got Pangoro. Uh, any Pokemon card collectors out there, if you do sell Pancham Pangoro sets, they'll sell pretty well. I can You can sell like a set of nine of them on eBay for about at least 15 to 25 bucks if you have them well maintained and stuff. Oh, Sawaddle. Is that something for, like, one of the 
new generations of Pokemon, the Zacian or Zamagenta, something like that. That's what it looks like to me. Ooh, flow it, nice. Okay, that's a drop card. We don't need that. All right, next up on our list, what do we have? Isn't that funny? They have all these Eevees and Eeveelutions on the designs. I haven't gotten a single Eevee card yet or Eeveelution of any sort. What is going on, guys? It's like false advertising or something. Oh, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Meryl! Hi, Meryl. Well, the artwork, the coloring is really nice. And all those lily pads... Yeah, don't be don't be tricked or fooled. That's definitely low tad. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we got Smeargle. Macargo again. Pincer. Oh <gasps> Leafeon. Nice. Leafeon V. Oh snap. That one is a keeper, guys. I don't know if you can see, like. Seems like there's lots of different textures, too, to this card, which is really cool. Too bad my camera can't zoom in very well. But, damn, that's a good pull there. What should I use? What should I use? Uh, I'm going to use my generic ones. There we go. Let's put that in there. Carefully. Oh, snap. That one is really awesome. And to ensure that it doesn't warp, I like to flatten them. So I'm going to flatten them like that. Oh, nice one. So I got an Entei. And I got a uh, Leafeon. Since we're pulling the... Evolution set. What is your favorite Eevee or Evolution Pokemon out of the group? Whether you like it because it's cute, whether it's the one you'd like to play with the most, like in a Pokemon 6v6 game, or design, or personality, or whatnot. What's your favorite Evolution? Alright. What do we got here? Uh, so Dewpiter evolves into Araquanid or something like that. Is anybody on right now? If there's anyone else that is on, if you guys can guess my favorite evolution, I'll give you a pack right now. No, bo no BS. What is my favorite Pokemon? There are two of you guys right now. Oh, your la your lanyard. That sucks. Lanyards are expensive. Okay, we got a Zoomerill. <gasps> Pikachu. I got a million of these. Kangaskhan. Trainer card. All right. Let me type that in for you guys one more time. Come on, guy. There's only two of you, so first person to guess, they're going to get one of these right now, so. And your first guess is the one that's important. If you guess in second time, then if the first person guesses, I don't know how to explain it, but you have multiple guests and there's only two of you, so there's a 50% chance one of you is going to get it. <laughs> I 
Okay, it is not Lee Fion. Uh, once your other, once the next person guesses, Vaseline machine. If you guess and you get it correct, you can get it. If not, then it's fair game for the next person that guesses. Vaseline machine. Are you going to guess? If not, Voided is going to get a second chance right now to... All right, Vaseline Machine, you have resigned your second gu your guess. So, Voided, you can guess again. You get another free guess. We're just going to wait like every 30 seconds before. And if you finally get it, you get a pack of cards. No BS. All right, we got Flow It. Or no, 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 that's Flow Baby, right? Yeah, that's Flow Baby. Oh, and it says so in Korean too. Pula Bebe. <laughs> oh, Voltorb looks lonely and sad. 30 second wait now, Voided. Swaddle. Impidimps Evolve Form. Gruh. Something that I don't care for. I don't really care about these new Pokemon. They just look so weird. Okay, that's... Isn't that Eldegoss or something? One of the newer grass Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Alright. That one... I think I'm gonna try and sell this one. I don't actually care about this one that much, so... Sorry! So a lot of these new Pokemon, they just don't have any originality to me anymore, so... Voided, you might actually just win off of default because this person's not answering the question. Who is my what is my favorite EV Evolution Pokemon? You get a third guess now. While you do that, I'm gonna try and See if Vaseline Machine is willing to answer the question. Oh my god, auto... Autocorrect changed my Eevee to Levy? Come on, don't do that to me. Does it say that on my last one too? What's my favorite <laughs> Eve Eevee Lucian Pokemon? <laughs> oh man. Ah uh, no! <laughs> it's not Glaceon either. I'll give you a very good clue. It's one. It's one of those. <laughs> Who is my favorite evolution? You. That is not correct, though. Not Glaceon. Oh, voided. Okay, now you're definitely gonna... <laughs> you're definitely gonna get it. Because Vaseline Machine doesn't look like they're answering. Okay, here we... Okay, is that your fourth guess? Alright, are you sure about that? Oh, voided. You're right. It is Vaporeon. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Good job. Do you want me to send this to you, or do you do you want to pick it up at Final Strike? I mean, I can legitimately send it to you via mail, or I can save money because I'm a cheap ass. Yes, it's Vaporeon. Vaporeon is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Do you want to go pick this up at Final Strike then? I'll have your name on it. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one is yours, so... Okay, that one is voided. Zuh. You better not get my really good Umbreon Pokemon card that I really want, but if you get it, I won't be salty. Might be, but no. It'll be just my luck. <laughs> okay, next pack of cards. Alright, we are back with Meowth. Ah, uh, Phoebus. Ugh. The waddle evolves into something that I don't know anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That looks like something that Sylveon would wear. Some type of accessory. I have no clue what that item says. <gasps> Flourishes! Nice! Nice! That is awesome. I'm going to keep that Florges, that's for sure. Gen 7 Pokemon. Now let's just put this in here. Alright, let's flatten it out so it doesn't warp or warps minimally. I really hate that foil cards and hollow foil cards just easily warp with any type of weather conditions if it's not humid enough or too humid or too dry or too hot like I'm I'm surprised that a lot of my cards have made it and, and have survived throughout this time and I can't believe Vaseline machine didn't even guess once this was a free guess no strings attached I'll have to come up with a different game next time like like a mini quiz show, like I'll type in a question about either me or my Pokemon liking or my video gaming, whatever, and we'll have people answer and then we'll do like, it'll kind of be like a scoreboard or leaderboard thing where whoever guesses right gets points, whoever doesn't, doesn't, they get zero, and then at the end of all these mini quizzes, the winner will get something crazy. I'm kind of thinking of that, but... First thing is I have to learn how to actually stream properly. Not with my ghetto equipment here. It's pretty ghetto. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? We got Pikachu. Okay, that's Mawile. Mawile? Mega Mawile. Very OP. Very good Pokemon. Zorua. Melodic. <gasps> I got Vaporeon. That is so cool. Just look at this freaking art. Look at the texture. It's just very smooth and glossy looking. I don't... <laughs> I'm... Yeah, I'm having a very, very happy, super happy moment. Okay, Vaporeon is going to stay forever in my collection. We already knew that, though. Vaporeon! All right, Vaporeon, you stay there. You stay put, honey. Holy cow. That was so awesome. <laughs> Remember, guys, here are the promotions again. 750 subs. If I can get 750 subs on my YouTube channel, I will make... A Pokemon card opening and give away this pack of Pokemon card from the shiny collection from the black and white era. If I get a thousand, when I get a thousand subs, I will be giving away this Pokemon card pack from the Radiant collection. Look how freaking cute that is. Look at that. Sylveon's eyes shine. How do you not love this? And 
You can get it on eBay, on my eBay store, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's expensive. But this is like one of the coolest packs I've ever come across in my lifetime as far as Pokemon cards. Alright, let's open up the next pack, guys. Wish me luck. Let's get that full art Umbreon that everyone wants. It's like that golden ticket from Willy Wonka. Everyone wants that. But I want this $600 value card. Because I want to sell it for $600. Okay, we got Indeedee. Rotom. Gossiflor or something, right? Gossiflor? It's something like that. I, I'm pretty sure. Energy card? Persian? Okay. I don't think we're halfway done. <laughs> this is crazy, though. This is really cool. I can't believe I'm getting such good luck with some of these pulls. Alright, next up, we got Tynamo. Again. Phoebus. Gossifler, Pinsir, okay, what do we got next, oh, shiny, there's something shiny, <laughs> I see something shiny, Glaceon, oh. very majestic, Glaceon is one of my faves, I like them a lot more than some of the other ones, but not my favorite, uh, that is so cool, Mm, this one has a different texture. It's not the smooth texture that you saw from the Leafeon or the Vaporeon. It's almost kind of like the texture looks like there's a whole bunch of fingerprints all over. That's really cool. I wish I had a better camera for this, but you guys are going to have to make do with this. Oh, nice. i to put it in my... Safe place. There we go. Wow, I've gotten three of the evolutions as a V card. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what we get next. Graceland, if you're watching, I hope you're feeling better. I really want to open more Pokemon card packs with you. I'm having such good luck. You must be giving me good luck today, right? I know it. Because you always have crazy amazing pulls. All right, let's see what we get next. Okay, here we go. Let's get the camera rolling. All right, we got Mantine. And is Remoraid there? Oh, yep, there's a Remoraid right there. Symbiotic relationship with Mantine. All right. Wonder what happens when Remoraid evolves into Octillery. Does it still have that symbiotic relationship with Mantine or not? I always wonder that sometimes. Okay, we got Slugma. Araquanid or something like that, right? Palisand. Ooh, we got Zoroark. Nice. Shiny. And this one is here to stay also. Zoroark is not a bad Pokemon. I like it. I do hate fighting against it, like in the games, because you're always wondering, why is this Pokemon... Because it, like, disguises itself as some other Pokemon. And so then, like, it'll pretend like it's one of the other Pokemon on their team, like a Machoke or something. So you're like, oh, okay. It's a fighting Pokemon. Let me do a psychic attack. And then it's like, this has no effect, and you're like, what the heck? Gracelyn, hi! How are you doing, honey? Miss you. You just missed her mini giveaway. We were trying to ask people who my favorite, or what my favorite Pokemon, uh, my evolution Pokemon is. And 
Yeah, someone won it already. They won a Pokemon card pack, so... I want to open Pokemon Scarlet and Violet packs with you, honey. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you for the mojo, though. You're giving me a lot of good luck. I wish you could have seen this in real life. Well, you can still see it on the stream. I've gotten some crazy pulls so far. And i got to show you some of the awesome, cool plushies, too, that I got, too. Okay, so we got Voltorb. Meryl, oh, so cute. I really like the coloring there. Pancham, Pinsir, Starmie's cousin. <laughs> okay, it's not Starmie's cousin, but maybe it's an earring that Starmie would wear or a bracelet that, or something that Starmie would wear. You're feeling okay? I hope you feel better, okay? We're going to do, well, we got to do a Pokemon card opening soon, okay? You just feel better first. Oh my gosh, you gotta see what I got. I have some Pokemon card or bot unboxings, or just Pokemon unboxings, and I got like these cool Pikachu plushies. Here, let me switch to the Pokemon camera real quickly, okay? Give me a second. Okay, you can see my big head. Oh my god, look what I got. Isn't this so gorgeous? It's like a Pikachu and a kimono. And then I got this other Pikachu. I really like this one though. This is like my favorite. But yeah, they're so cute. And then they have like different design like tags on them. So you can see like the story behind it sometimes. Especially this one here. This one is like a festival, Japanese festival of some sort. And I just love the artwork they have on there. I know, they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> and it's been so long since I ordered them and I just totally forgot. So I had to do a Pokemon unboxing today. And yeah, if you watch some of the earlier parts of the video, you can see me unboxing a lot of stuff. And it's crazy. It's like... It's like my Christmas. It's a, it's, it's a good Christmas, though. Is your pony keeping you company, then, since you're not feeling too well? Let's see. All right, I'm going to go back to opening cards again, guys. So here we go. Yeah, it's so cute. I love it. My cargo. Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's try this again. No shift, no change. Okay, we got my cargo. What's its favorite treat right now? What is your pony like? Oh, there's Dupiter. Looks really derpy though. Kind of reminds me of the derpy My Little Pony pony. Is his name Derp also or something? Or that's what just people call him in general. Okay, then we got Impidimp. Trying to scare a substitute plush. It's just a plushie though. It's not gonna, nothing's gonna happen from it. All right. Trainer card, electrode. Okay. Okay, so next time we got to schedule like a Pokemon card opening. Uh, May might be a little bit busy for me, but I mean, I'm sure I can always try and find time. It's just there's a huge video game tournament in Chicago next month, and I have to prepare for that. All right, what do we got here? We got Gossiflor, Pangoro, Sandy Gast, Impidimp's Evolved Form. Is it like Gremlin or something or Snarl? Gr Grim's? Is it Grim Snarl? Grim's? I just keep remembering Grim's Fairy Tales or something. Peppermint Treats? Aw. That's sweet. Oh, 
I got an Umbreon, guys. Oh my god, this paper, look at it. It looks so shiny and smooth. So the only one that's had that like more rigid fingerprint-like texture has been like the Glaceon. Oh, it's more Grim? <laughs> Is Grimmsnarl the evolved form of that one then? Is that what I'm thinking? That's what I'm thinking of, right? More Grim. Okay. More Grim. That's what they're trying to say. Oh my god, this... Glacia... Er, Glacia... <laughs> this Umbreon is so cool. It's not the crazy big valued one, the full art one that we want, but... I will take this. This is a win today. Oh. Of course, the other random unimportant card. Okay, we don't need that one. Let's put this in. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to do a recap of all the cards that I've won or opened up today too. So Okay. Yeah, I'm really bad at all the new generation Pokémon's names. If you ask me the names of like the Scarlet and Violet, I'll just say Donald Duck instead of Quaxley or I'll say a Donkey Kong po dinosaur instead of like Fue Coco or something like that. Like, there's too many new Pokemon for me that I'm totally behind. I don't know any... I barely know the names. Okay, we got Mawile. Mantine. Eevee! I've opened up, like, almost 15, 20 packs. This is the first time I pulled an Eevee. Honestly, you guys, false at... This is false advertising. How many Eevee Eeveelutions have I even gotten from this pack? <laughs> I've only gotten like six or seven cards that are like Eevee Eeveelution esque. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny though. Okay, Kangaskhan doing a karate kick. And trainer card. Yeah, have you beaten all the gems yet? got we got mudkip well how far are you in the game right now and what's your favorite pokemon meow meow slugma looks like a fun trainer card it makes you want to party or something there's like balloons it's festive <gasps> i think there's a shiny there's a shiny <laughs> There's a shiny. What is this? Is that a... S so there's a Leafeon V and there's a Leafeon V Max? Is that how it goes? Okay, this one has a more rigidy texture again. You can see. It's kind of like fingerprints. That's so cool. Thank you, Leafeon. Ugh. Need to take care of these. Don't touch them with my fingers. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got Leafeon. I just need to take a look real fast at the other Leafeon that I got. Oh, okay. So Leafeon VMAX evolves from Leafeon V? Is that how it works in the card game? I don't actually know, so cool okay so the VMAX cards are going to be the ones that have the more rigidy texture to it where it's just the V cards are going to be smoother is that how it goes Yeah, I think if I play Pokemon Scarlet, I'm definitely going to pick Sprigat Sprigatito. 
All right, we got Smeargle, guys. Tynamo. Phoebus. Trainer card. Right, I right you. Sorry, I like Pikachu more. Always have been. I made a joke that after I won a major tournament, I would change my name to Jimmy Raichu Choi. Uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> maybe if, maybe for one day I'll do Jimmy Raichu Choi, but... Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Although one time I was a little sneaky... There was one tournament I entered, and I didn't want people to know that it was me. So I didn't even enter as Jimmy Pikachu Choi. I just named myself Raichu X. I'm like, no one would expect me to be <laughs> that person. And they didn't. I took them for surprise. This was during Soul Calibur 5 days. <laughs> I can't believe that. That was so stupid. Why would I do that? Because <laughs> I didn't want people to study me or get a head start. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get farther, though. They always make you run lots of different types of errands, too, right? And then there's side stories or adventures. And they probably have a new Team Rocket-like team, right? Like, they've had Team Aqua, Team Magma, Team Plasma, right? At one point. And then there's... There's so many different teams now. Team Galactic or something. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a new team. I miss Team Rocket, though. I like Jesse and James. Oh, my God. Struggling here, guys. <laughs> All right. I don't have a choice. Let's get some good cards. Let's get that Eevee or Umbreon. Okay, we got Zorua. Sawaddle. Tynamo. Eel. Electric. Electric, right? Yeah. Electivir. No. No, is that electric? I think it's Eel Electric. It has to be. Team Star this time? Their name is Star? Okay, Marsh Stomp. Sorry, if I don't say all the cards' names now, I might be losing a little bit of endurance right now. <laughs> a little tired. There's a big Milwaukee tournament tomorrow that I gotta prepare for too. So the best player, some of the best players in Wisconsin, Chicago are showing up for that. So yeah, hope I do okay. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll if I can get third or fourth place, I'll be that's good enough for me but gotta be realistic I'll probably get like seventh place or ninth place tomorrow Ugh, these cards come on get out all right here we go what do we got Slugma, Mudkip. Oh, that's so cute. I just realized Sandy Gas is there, but it wants to maybe play with Mudkip, but then it's too scared because it's weak against water. That's really cute. I like those type of details in cards sometimes. Okay, we got Floor... Wait. La Baby Florges La Baby Fla I just I I remembered it a while ago, now I just forgot it. Oh well. It's Fla Baby's evolved form. <laughs> I just blanked out. Yeah, right? 
I, I really did enjoy that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? It's that group. It's like that ghost Pokemon or something, right? It's like Marsh Shadow or something, right? Is that what it's called? Mar... It... Ma -sha At least that's what it says in Korean. Ma -sha -do. So that's Marsh Shadow, I think. Neat. That's like the first Marsh Shadow card I've ever gotten in my life. So really cool. Definitely going to go add that to my collection. It's going to be the first one I ever have of this particular Pokemon. Neat. Alright, how many packs left do we got, guys? We got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8 more packs left. I'm sorry, it's dragging a little. I'm not a professional with opening these packs. <laughs> Oh, wait, did I find a new weight? Oh my god, no, that's gonna bend it. No, do not do that, Jimmy. That was bad. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna open them up with scissors now. Marshadow, right, exactly. Okay. AJ, what's this Pokemon's name now? I totally forgot it. So there's Sawaddle. And then, yeah, it's a name that I don't remember. It's a Pokemon I never use in any type of real realistic settings. Forgot it. Sorry. Pikachu? Azumarill? Party time? Oh, Swadloon, that's what it's called. That's Leveny, right? Yeah. Oh, I never saw that. N notice that. Leveny's holding her baby Sawaddle, like cradling her. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. I never noticed that before. Okay, next up. Almost done, guys. Okay, Swadloon, Swadloon, just for you, AJ, I remembered. <laughs> Voltorb, Zorua, Tynamo, Electric, it's not Electivire, that's, that's the Electabuzz name. Electos or something? Or Electroboss or something? Jerry uh, Top. Okay, that's not going to help me in Korean. Obviously not the same name. Uh, score! I got a second Vaporeon again. Same card. Very smooth. Wow, that one. That image looks really clear on this one. Wow, camera's working finally. Thank you. Nice. Electros. Okay, so I was almost correct then. Alright, got some pretty decent pulls, to be honest. Uh, Graceland, did, when you op didn't you open an uh, EV Hero set before? I think so. I feel like you did. You had like really good pulls, but you get good pulls in every every set you get. Did you do an Eevee's Hero with me before card opening? I can't quite remember if that was the one where you just got so many good crazy pulls. Okay, next up, you got meow, Slugma. La baby. Oh, 
Oh, that other Pokemon's name is Floet, right? I remember. Oh, did you just type it? Oh, you typed it for me too? Thanks. I can't really read it. I, the computer screen is like kind of far sometimes, so I can't always see everything. Okay, Kangaskhan doing, pretend, Kangaskhan pretending that she is Hitmonlee. All Kangaskhan are female, right? In this game? Yeah. She's pretending to be Hitmonlee with that karate kick. Heart accessory for Sylveon? Alright guys, we're almost there. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta plan for another Pokemon card opening sometime, okay? Alright, here we go. We got Meowth. Flabebe. Meryl. Pokeball of some sort. Oh, dream. Oh, dream ball. You got the Umbreon finally? Nice. Good job. Oh, Entei again. All right. This Entei, I think I'm going to sell on eBay. One is enough for me. Put this in a top loader for additional protection. There we go. Nice. Are you actually planning on selling that full art super rare Umbreon card then? Or are you going to keep it for life? <laughs> Is it going to be like one of your nest eggs when you get older. <laughs> hey, no, who knows? It might be worth more than five or six hundred bucks later on. And then again, the price of the Pokemon cards in general are just a little crazy right now. Okay, we got Fla Goss Gossiflor, Impidimp, Mudkip again, poor Gat Sandy Gas. Energy card, yes, that's what we definitely want. Sell it, nice. Morgrum, sorry, I just burped there. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, also, don't know if you noticed, but I got these from the PokemonCenter.com, like the newest sleeves. And those are so cute. I saw them. I'm like, I got to get them. Got to get them. All right. Holy cow. We've been doing this for an hour, 20 minutes now. Hopefully you guys are having fun. I'm definitely having a blast right now. You want to see how crazy the pile of packs have gotten right now? Here are the wrappers right now. Yeah. We'll make it look, I'll try to make it look nicer right now. There we go. Back to normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, I just messed with the camera. Okay. Here we go. That should work. Ready, guys? We got elect electric. Araquanid. Mantine, Melodic, Grimmsnarl, right? Grimmsnarl. Okay, I definitely don't have Grimmsnarl, so I'm going to keep that. Add that to my collection. All right, and flatten them so they don't get as warped. Guys, we're almost done. Two packs left. Yeah, the thing about those, like, uh, card sleeves and stuff from PokemonCenter.com, you have to 
get them really early because people just buy all of them, like the whole lot, and then they'll try and sell them on eBay later on. So you have to really be on your toes if you want to buy them, or get what you want at least, at the Pokemon Center. Alright, no more of these. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to open. I'm just gonna use scissors now. One. Two, three. Okay, I got three more packs, guys. Alright, here we go. Three more packs. What are we gonna get? Come on, Umbreon. Come on, special golden ticket Willy Wonka Umbreon card. <laughs> I can hope for that, but... Okay, we got Eevee, Mawile, Pangoro. <gasps> oh, shoot. I saw something shiny. I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to brace myself for it. Palisan. What did I get? Okay, shiny. Shiny? Whoa! Shiny... What do you call that? Is that called a rainbow card full art VMAX or something? Whoa, it's just so glittery looking. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. I thought it was going to be the Umbreon, but this is pretty good too. Sweet! Okay, this one is definitely going in my save file. Alright. There we go. Hey, I have an idea. Do you think... Maybe we should do like a video phone call or something. Like, I can put Gracelyn on my video... On my cell phone. And she can open her cards... <laughs> Just like that? I don't know. Will that work? I'm trying to think. Let's see. If I did that... Technically... Huh, she might? That's something that we could always think about also. That might, ask, that, that might actually work. I just don't know about the sound quality. Rainbow art, okay. It's pretty. It's pretty and it's shiny. <laughs> I like that. That's really good. The pack of the box of cards itself was pretty expensive. I think it was during the time when everything was be becoming super overly inflated during the pandemic. And what a normal box of Korean Pokemon cards is supposed to cost about $30, 35 bucks, but these evol evolution sets were, they were charging about 50, 60 bucks a box, so. All right, we got Eevee. Let's see. Eevee makes that really cute sound in the old game, in the old anime. He's like, Oi! like that. I don't like the new Eevee sound. It sound it just sounds so fake when the, when it's saying its own name like Eevee. Like that doesn't sound right to me. Like it has to be the original Eevee sound. In DD, Rotom, Pinsir. Okay, trainer card. All right. We're on our last one, guys. Uh, AJ, let me know if you want Graceland to like do a video call to do the Pokemon card openings. Even if it's for like 5 or 10 minutes. Let us know, okay? I'm still on. Last pack, guys. Here we go. Eevee. Now I'm getting the Eevees. <laughs> Rotom. Pancham, trainer card, okay, no shiny, what are we going to get, oh, it's a shiny, but it's Swampert, that's cool, I like Swampert, 
it's slow though in the game, so have to use it as like some type of tanky Pokemon. It's water ground, so it knows Earthquake and it knows Surf. I like those moves. <laughs> okay, not a bad haul, honestly. I will take it. Let's put the Swampert card. There we go. Ah, uh, wasn't the last package maggot? What uh, last maggot? Last pack magic. But hey, I'll take it. That's better than an uncommon card or something, right? So, uh, let me just quickly clean up while we're doing that. AJ, so did you want to do a video, a mini video call, and see if it works? And if it doesn't, we can just like call it a day. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of wrappers here. <gasps> huh? Did I not open a pack of cards? Hey guys, false alarm, I have one more pack of cards. What the heck? I have one pack of cards that I gotta open. Real last pack magic. Let's see. How did I not open this? That is so strange. Okay. We got Zorua. Slugma. Oh my god. Why am I using my thumbs? Okay. Flo... Flabebe. Electos. Aw, no magic, guys. It's a trainer card. Okay. We try, though. But... We can try. Okay, so let's see. How will we do this? Okay. The party you have called does not support video calls. Oh. Please retry as an audio call. As an audio call? <laughs> okay, so I just tried to do an, a video call with you. Didn't work. Hmm. So if we call, what other way can we do this to like make it work where we could also see it on the screen as well? Hmm. It said it didn't support. Hmm. And maybe we could do it another time. If she's coughing a lot, maybe that would uh, irritate her throat a little bit more. So we could probably do it another time. It's not a big deal. Okay, Graceland, honey, I want you to get better, okay? So, you don't need to talk too much, but what we'll do now, we'll just do a small recap of what we got today. So, first off, uh, let's recap what we got for the cards first off. Uh, this one is yours voided, so... I'll make sure to bring that one for you. So we got Swampert. We got Glaceon. Ah. Rainbow Art VMAX. Nice. Grimmsnarl. Vaporeon V. Marshadow. Raichu. Leafeon VMAX. Umbreon V, Zoroark, Glaceon V Max, Vaporeon times two, Florgis, Eldegoss, sorry I'm selling you, uh, Leafeon V, and we got Entei. That's a pretty good pull. That's a pretty good haul, guys. This is for one pe one box of cards that costs about fifty bucks. Overall, not bad to be honest. And Korean cards, usually I've always liked them because I don't care necessarily if they're in English or not. I just care about the actual card, just the design and the art and all that. So, Pokemon Korean cards were always nice because they were just very economically friendly, let's just say. 
Oh, thank you, Voida. That's very sweet of you to say to Graceland. Yeah, we can reschedule. Don't worry. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So, Anyway, so those are the cards that I got from my polls. Really decent haul, I would say. Just have to be careful with them right now. Don't want them to get warped. That's always my biggest concern. I hate hollow cards that get warped. I'm just like, why does this happen? Okay, I'm gonna flatten these out. Okay, no, that's a bad spot. All right, this will work. All right, guys, so to recap, what did I get today? I got a box of Pokemon card, uh, is this Evolving Skies, Sword and Shield, or it might be a different uh, theme, I can't remember, but pulled, uh, I ordered that today, got that, and then got a few more Japanese Pokemon card packs, or boxes, uh, more Pokemon Go, and Pokemon, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Of the series but you got that one uh, got a bunch of uh, boxes or a couple boxes from the Silver Tempest uh, this is definitely more for uh, an investment not necessarily for my own collection and then of course to recap my cute stuff that I got I got Pikachu card sleeve from the Pokemon Center I also got from Japan these cute kimono Pikachu plushies. Pika, Pika! Pikachu! <laughs> and you can see the detail to it. So cute, really nice. And I just like the tags that they put along with there. Just has lots of detail to them. And. As we said before, uh, Isaac got me this a long time ago. There are two... Let me change the camera, guys. Oh, come on. All right. Isaac gave this to me a long time ago. There are two Groomsmen Pikachu plushies. And guess what the Pokemon Center finally had? They had Groomsmen and Grooms... Uh, Groomsmen and Grooms Brides. Brides of Pikachu plushies. So, what did I do? I bought two male versions of each. First, the Japanese Groomsmen Pikachus. Very proper. Pika! Whoa. In addition to that, I got the two traditional Western style tuxedo suit Pikachus. Really cute. Pika Pika. For about 10-15 minutes, we're just going to show you my Generation 2 cards. Gen 2 cards, guys. So let's change the camera back. Alrighty. <clears throat> crazy stuff right now so they won't let smash players oh they've always had issues with like smash being like an evo event being streamed for copyright issues and stuff kind of just a little bit of bs stuff but really annoying to listen to anyway here we go so this is my binder of primarily gen 2 cards and this doesn't get touched ever so what I have here that's what I'm gonna keep for gen 2 cards I do have like five or four or five other binders of gen 2 cards but those are the ones that I don't care for so oh so we got our starters the evolve forms meganium typhlosion for alligators we got just gonna use this Got Chikorita, Bayleaf, 
Cyndaquils. We got Quillavas, Croconaw, Totodiles. I like them. Pretty cool Pokemon. Then the not so interesting Pokemon. We got Furret, Sentret. No one cares about them <laughs> as much. Noctowl? Noctowl's cool because it's Ash's Pokemon and it's like one of his first shinies he ever got. We got Crobat. Yeah, this Neo Destiny Crobat. The Neo Destiny and Neo Revelations, I think. I don't know what they're called in English, but in Japan, like the Neo 3 and Neo 4 sets were just the coolest Crobat cards ever. So when those came out, I was like, whoa. Then some more of the same Pokemon or their pre-evolved forms. Ladyba. I like Ladyba. That comes from the Rainbow Island or Treasure Island collections. Yeah, that along with I believe nine other, four, eight other cards. If you uh, piece them together, create like a piece of artwork, which is really cool. Uh, Dark Crobat, Crobat versus. I wish they had versus mode or the versus card set to be distributed in the states, but I believe this one is one of the few ones that just was Japan only, maybe Korea also, but yeah, the states. Lame. All right, next up. Uh, Neo sets are really cool. What are your favorite types of cards to collect from Generation 2? What are your favorite Generation 2 Pokemon? The pre evolved forms. I wasn't, when they first came out, I was totally not a fan. I'm just like, Oh, they just did this because they ran out of ideas. I'm not wrong there, but <laughs> sooner or later you see like pre-evolve forms or additional evolve forms of other Pokemon from previous generations just because. I'm like, or now different forms of them because they have no more ideas. But yeah, this started me this this was a small start in me not liking Pokemon as much. I still like Gen 2. They were cute. Like the P2 Brothers, the P2 movie and stuff with Pikachu. Awesome. Always fun. Chinchou. The Chinchou episode for, I believe, Season 5 of Pokemon. That was a pretty dark, pretty sad episode. I really liked it, though. It made me appreciate Chinchou a little bit more. More P2 cards. Cleffa, Igglybuffs. We got Togetic. We got Zazazazazatu. <laughs> Zatu's silly. Then my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in the Gold Silver era, Ampharos. Really like their cards. Really like the cards, and I liked his sound. And I just liked that it was an electric Pokemon. Because for it took forever for me to find Pikachu. I didn't think about like Pichu evolving into Pikachu back then, so. We got Togepi's, Natu's, another versus card for Ampharos. Very cool. Fluffy. Yeah, I really, I guess you can see I like Ampharos a lot. Ampharos EX, the original EX cards that they came out with, not these V Max, Gold Star. GX or GV or VX or VMAX or something like that. It was just EX. Ampharos EX. And that's all it was. But it's cool that they have all these new flashier cards, but sometimes it doesn't always feel like I get as excited as much because I feel like it's easier to get more special cards than it was back then, so... So some of these I hold very, very dear to my heart, close to my heart. Oh, pseudo -woodle. Ah, bad angle there. You guys see that? Azumarill, Blossoms. Yeah, next page. <gasps> Mareep! Mareep is cute. I like Mareep. I know, I just feel like it's just, it got, 
like gotten out of control sometimes with like the newer cards the special premium I should say cards but yeah that is nice that they have EX again it's just weird because I haven't seen it in like ages Meryl that one's a cute one with magic art behind it I, oh that's one of the other rainbow treasure island ones where you piece it together you get a awesome picture polytoad polytoad hey, polytoad ex nice polytoad singing away while the sun is setting he must be a romantic isaac thinks i'm polytoad because i have a fat belly like him so that must be me then because i kind of am romantic uh, sometimes <laughs> uh, i'm so corny sometimes uh jump off Sunflora, Apom, Hoppip, Skip Bloom, Sunkern. I like Sunkern. Sunkern's a cute Pokemon for me. Quagsire. Espeon. Oh, I didn't get any Espeons today, right? I only got the Umbreon. That's too bad. Oh, look at that. It looks like I have spots for Umbreon. I'm going to go put an Umbreon card in there right now. Give me one second, guys. Only slightly annoying thing about it is the fact that there's already a card sleeve on there. So I feel like I'm not going to be able to use that card sleeve for this one. Just because it might get too cramped in there. And I don't... That makes it more likely to get... I feel like it makes it more likely to get... Uh, warped. So, I'm going to take this card out. And you can see me put a new card in my binder. After ages of not putting anything in there. So, let's put this in the back. Be very careful. Don't want to make any white scuffs on the corner edges. Oh, that looks sick. Now we just need to get an Espeon card in there, too. Cool. Okay, now we're going on to... Oh, Whoopers. Whoopers are cute. I like Whooper a lot. Okay, we got the Slow Kings, Mystery Vis. Okay, and that is. What the heck is that? Is that Mega Slowbro? Or Mega Slow King? Or Slow King? Uh, Galarian Slow King. That has to be it, right? Yeah, Galarian Slow King. Okay. Let's look at my unknown collection. I don't have everything, but there's A, missing B, C. Oh, there's more Slow Kings there. I like this one a lot because this one was a vending machine card, and they just took, it's like a contest where kids draw their favorite Pokemon, and this card, this kid's drawing or illustration got to be a card. So I thought, I always think that's so cool. <laughs> It looks so funny. Okay, so A, B, C. Missing D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, I guess I, I have some from like the original Neo series, Neo 1 or 2 series, but not necessarily all of them, E, F. G H I. So it looks like I have two. I might have two. I'm trying to get two of each type, like the original ones from the Neo series, and then the Unseen Forces or Dark Forces set. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, there's J. That one was a promo card, I think. You ha you got that from Pokemon Three, the movie, I believe, with the Entei K L. 
these are definitely from the newer versions or the newer series. What's it called? Is it Unseen Forces or something? Uh, that's going to bug, bug me forever. There's M N O P Q R S T U V. However, that looks like a V. I guess it looks like a V there. W X Y and Z on the other side. There we go. There's my unknown collection. Don't have them all though, but it's good enough for now. Wobbuffet. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon. Hilarious. Girafferig. Fortress. Oh, guys. Hang in there. We're almost getting to the good stuff. We got Wobbuffet. Scalore. Girafferig. Pineco. Fortress. Gligar. Oh, versus Steelix. I love this one. I like this card a lot. Just really cool to see the shininess of it. USA, you're so lame for not having the Versus series like this. Why can't you be cool like Japan sometimes? Okay, we got Gligar, Dunsparce. Do they have like a new Dunsparce or something in the new generation? I feel like there's something about Dunsparce that's different, right? Ooh, there's Steelix. Steelix looks scary. I wonder if they're ever going to do the Crystal Onyx. What type of Pokemon would they consider that? New element, a glass element Pokemon. That would be cool. <laughs> You're like the unknown? Mysterious? Okay, we got scissor cards. Scissor. Shuckle, Heracross. Heracross was probably one of my least favorite Pokemon of Ashes. I just didn't care for it. I don't like bu I don't like those type of bug Pokemon. Butterfree is like the only bug Pokemon I like, probably. But Heracross, any creepy crawly critters, not necessarily for me. All right, let's look at these Scizor cards. Heracross, Shuckle. I like Shuckle. Shuckle's a cute Pokemon. I like the shiny version, the purple Shuckle. Teddy Ursa! Yeah, they're really cool. Mech. Oh, wait, from which cards? Where were the swirls at? Uh, where? I don't see the swirls anymore. The ones that, the swirls, like, they look like fingerprints swirls. Or you're just saying in general, you like the swirls in the hollow patterns. Oh, Heracross. Let's look for it again. Heracross. So this one then it might be it might be this one then right this one has the swirls I'm so blind right now <laughs> all right so we saw all of these the middle row end Middle row. Oh, that one, yeah. That's what, like one of the first Heracross they ever had for the Neo series. What were the Neo series? There's Neo Destiny, Neo Revelation, Neo Spore, <laughs> no, uh, Neo something. But yeah, this is Neo. I call it Neo One. That's all I can think of how to say it, but. Yeah. One of the first, if not first, Heracross cards you could get. We got Piloswine, Mamoswine evolves into that. Alchillery, Corsola, Delibird, Mantine, Skarmory. I do like that Skarmory card. Ugh. 
Light's not shining in a very good way for this. Yeah, but you can see like the shininess from a, on an angle. When you look at it flat, you can't see it as well. But yeah, really pretty card. I like it a lot. Avoided, what's your favorite Pokemon card? Or what's your favorite Generation 2 Pokemon? If you have one. Skarmory again. Houndooms. I'm a fan of Houndooms. I like all of them. I like them all. Dark Houndoom. <laughs> It's already pretty evil. How darker do you want it to be? Oh, this one always freaked me out all the time. It was just scary when I was younger. Alright, guys. We're almost getting to all the good stuff now. So, embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. Embrace yourself. Okay. Embrace myself. Okay. Brace yourself. <laughs> Hound Tower. Yeah, one of the few like non evolved form Pokemon cards that was like a rare back then was this card here. Hound Tower. Yeah, a lot of them. We got Kingdra here. I feel like you don't really talk about Kingdra, but pretty good typing to be honest. Water and Dragon. Had a lot of resistances. Oh, Porygon 2. I thought Porygon 2 was one of the coolest ones, even though I talk about how it lacks originality and stuff. For some reason, that one just always, I always thought that was cool. Because you never really got to see it in the cartoon, but it was just there as a Pokemon card, so. Alright. Banfi, Don Fan, Porygon 2, Stantler. Oh, I like this Smeargle a lot, because it's shiny, but... They would call it like a reverse shiny then or something, but I don't know. I still call it shiny because it is. Tyrogue, Hitmontop, Smoochum, Ugh, more baby Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of Rugrats. I like Rugrats, but not for Pokemon. Like this one here, Magby, it just reminds me of like Tommy Pickles or something. Uh, more Pokemon here. Yeah, those prices are not up to date, guys, so don't worry. I'm not going to sell it to you for only that amount. I'm not selling you Blissey for two bucks. Sorry. Not going to happen. Miltank, Raikou, Entei's? Entei EX? Ooh. Oh, get a good angle. There we go. Entei EX. Suicune EX? Ooh. I really like, this is kind of like the beginning of when they started to do like those tin box cards, tin, those tin boxes, and they would give you like a promotional EX card a lot of times. Uh, I don't believe these were the promo ones, but they were starting to, that was one of the times when they started around this time period era, they were giving away EX cards in them. I'm like, I'm getting these. And they were really cheap too. I think they were only 15 bucks back then for tin boxes. Like you'd get an EX Articuno or Zapdos or Moltres card and it was like 15 bucks. Then you got like four or five more Pokemon card packs too. So I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. There's Blissey, Miltank, Entei, Raikou. Oh man, I don't have enough room for my new Entei card, do I? That's gonna suck. 
please have room on the other side. Oh, yes, I have room on the other side for Ente. Give me a second, guys. Where is Ente? I thought I had two entes. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's my second ente, so let's just put it here. Oh, what should I do? Where should I put it? I'm gonna put it here. All right. Got a new Entei card right over there. Let's focus. There we go. Suicune. There we go, guys. Here's the good stuff. We got Tyranitars. Galore. Tyranitar EX. More Tyranitar EX. T Dark Tyranitar. Tyranitar, first edition from the e-reader series, the third set of e-readers that came out in Japan. I know they call them, like, in English, like, Sky Ridge or Aquapolis or some other names and stuff, but I just call them, like, E1, 2, 3, and 4. Dark Tyranitar. All right. Next up, we got Pupitars. Another dark Tyranitar. Oh, just regular Tyranitar. There we go. Cool. Larvitar. <laughs> now we got all these Lugias. Uh, the Lugias are funny. Those are from the Chicago Pokemon, car car uh, Pokemon convention. I actually got kicked out because I was selling Pokemon cards in the event, which I, I didn't know. It was against the rules, so... Uh, they kicked me out, but they said that once you're out of the convention, you can sell your cards out of the room. So I was doing that. <laughs> Made like two or three hundred bucks. That was really cool. But I'm kicking myself in the butt because some of those cards I sold for like 15, 20 bucks, uh, they're worth more than that now. But my cousin AJ was hounding this poor guy that was working at the convention, and he would leave. Okay, so when you enter the convention, you get the gentleman gives you one card, one Lugia Pokemon Rocks card. So he would leave and then re-enter and leave and re-enter and leave and re-enter and leave and re-enter and leave and re-enter. And, and, re and, re and <laughs> the guy finally just gave him a stack of Lugia cards because he's like, I can't handle this kid anymore. There you go. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but... That's why I have a bunch of these Pokemon card rocks. Original Lugia, Japanese version, Neo 1. I'm not sure if this would be the first, besides the first edition cards, if this is like the first design of Lugia as a card. I think it's cool. Mm, Pop 5 series for Lugia. Uh, can you see it? There you go. Pop Series 5. Lugia Holo promo, I think. Lugia cards from... I'm sure you guys are familiar with these. <laughs> There's a bunch of them right now. The 25th anniversary ones. I'm going to try and sell those for a decent amount. I think they will be worth money. Oh, more Lugias. And Lugias. And here we go. The pretty stuff here. We got Ho-Oh. Uh, focus, focus, ho-oh, ho-oh, this is probably one of the most beautiful ho-oh cards, let's look at the shine on there, uh, camera, come on, focus, please, 
There we go. But these are some of my favorite art styles, artworks and stuff. Ho-Oh EX. I'm not sure if that was the first EX card for Ho-Oh or not. But I like it. Ho-Oh with the rainbow. Yeah, our 250th Pokemon, Ho-Oh. Oh, okay. We're done with that. And now, are you guys ready for the next one? Celebi. <laughs> the Celebi here looks really funny. And the writing is in gold, so I don't know what that means exactly, but <laughs> it looks really funny. That's all I can say. Yeah, Celebi. That Pokemon, really cool. I cried my eyes out when the movie was up. I watched the Japanese one first because I couldn't wait for the American one to come out. Because Japan, the Pokemon Four with Forever just came out, and oh, it's a Prime card. Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about that, but <laughs> that Celebi so looks like it's mad. <laughs> Celebi EX. Yeah, I cried my eyes out when Celebi died in the movie, but then it got revived through time travel and with the other with the help of the other Celebi. So I'm okay with that, but I still cry every time I see that happen. I try not to see it. Ha I try not to watch it because I know I'm gonna cry. There's Red Celebi. Is that Shiny Celebi then? I don't know. Or it's like a fire version of Celebi. Ooh. <laughs> no, I think it's probably a shiny Celebi of some sort. This is from Crystal, the Crystal Guardian series. You can see the crystal there for... It's Dark Celebi. And that's a... Pokemon Forever promo Celebi. I believe, I don't remember if this one you, if you bought the VHS tape, that's when you got the card. I want to say that's how you got it, but I might be wrong on that. You see, I have two of them. I might have bought two VHS tapes from it. Don't remember. <laughs> All right, guys. And last but not least, more Celebes. Celebi EX. Uh, shine. Oh no, not shiny. Uh, just Celebi from Neo Three. I think. Dark Celebi again. Celebi that is a promo, and it's not five dollars, guys. Sorry, not for sale like that. Celebi EX. More Celebis. Yeah. Holy cow! I got a lot of EX cards for Celebi. Celebi, Celebi. Another Celebi EX. Is that it? Alright, that's it. That's all I got. For now. Oh. That was it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Yeah, I'm taking off too. I can't believe I talk for this long. That I normally don't talk that much. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Voided, congrats on your Pokemon card pack. I'll get that to you during Final Strike when you show up. Just let me know when you show up so I can remember to bring it with me. And Graceland, feel better. I want you to feel better, okay? And maybe one time... Uh, when one of my other friends, their son, wants to do a Pokemon card opening, then maybe you can show him how it's done too. I think he's starting to get into Pokemon cards. So, okay, see you guys later. Take care.